Denzel Hayes Washington Jr. is an American actor, producer, and director. Known for his versatile work spanning over four decades of screen and stage, Washington has been regarded as one of the best actors of his generation, with the New York Times naming him the greatest actor of the 21st century in 2020. Born, December 28, 1954, age 69 years, Mount Vernon, New York, United States. Upcoming movie, Gladiator 2. Spouse, Pauletta Washington, M. 1983. Children, John David Washington, Katia Washington, Malcolm Washington, Olivia Washington. Height, 1.85 meters. Parents, Denzel H. Washington, Sr., Lennis Washington. Denzel Hayes Washington, Jr. was born on December 28, 1954, in Mount Vernon, New York. He is the middle of three children of a beautician mother, Lennis, from Georgia, and a Pentecostal minister father, Denzel Washington, Sr., from Virginia. After graduating from high school, Denzel enrolled at Fordham University, intent on a career in journalism. However, he caught the acting bug while appearing in student drama productions and, upon graduation, he moved to San Francisco and enrolled at the American Conservatory Theater. He left ACT, after only one year to seek work as an actor. His first paid acting role was in a summer stock theater stage production in St. Mary City, Maryland. The play was Wings of the Morning, which is about the founding of the colony of Maryland, now the state of Maryland, and the early days of the Maryland Colonial Assembly, a legislative body. He played the part of a real historical character, Matthias de Souza, although much of the dialogue was created. Afterwards he began to pursue screen roles in earnest. With his acting versatility and powerful presence, he had no difficulty finding work in numerous television productions. He made his first big screen appearance in Carbon Copy, 1981, with George Siegel. Through the 1980s, he worked in both movies and television and was chosen for the plum role of Dr. Philip Chandler in NBC's hit medical series St. Elsewhere, 1982, a role that he would play for six years. In 1989, his film career began to take precedence when he won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for his portrayal of Trip, the runaway slave in Edward Zwick's powerful historical masterpiece Glory, 1989. Washington has received much critical acclaim for his film work since the 1990s, including his portrayals of real-life figures such as South African anti-apartheid activist Steve Biko in Cry Freedom, 1987, Muslim minister and human rights activist Malcolm X in Malcolm X, 1992, boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter in The Hurricane, 1999, Football coach Herman Boone in Remember the Titans, 2000, poet and educator Melvin B. Tolson in The Great Debaters, 2007, and drug kingpin Frank Lucas in American Gangster, 2007. Malcolm X and the Hurricane garnered him Oscar nominations for Best Actor, before he finally won that statuette in 2002 for his lead role in Training Day, 2001. Through the 1990s, Denzel also co-starred in such big-budget productions as The Pelican Brief, 1993, Philadelphia, 1993, Crimson Tide, 1995, The Preacher's Wife, 1996, and Courage Under Fire, 1996, a role for which he was paid $10 million. He continued to define his on-screen persona as the tough, no-nonsense hero through the 2000s in films like Out of Time, 2003, Man on Fire, 2004, Inside Man, 2006, and The Taking of Pelham 123, 2009. Cerebral and meticulous in his film work, he made his debut as a director with Antoine Fisher, 2002, he also directed The Great Debaters, 2007, and Fences, 2016. In 2010, Washington headlined The Book of Eli, 2010, a post-apocalyptic drama. Later that year, he starred as a veteran railroad engineer in the action film Unstoppable, 2010, about an unmanned, half-mile-long runaway freight train carrying dangerous cargo. The film was his fifth and final collaboration with director Tony Scott, following Crimson Tide, 1995, Man on Fire, 2004, Deja Vu, 2006, and The Taking of Pelham 123.
He has also been a featured actor in the films produced by Jerry Bruckheimer and has been a frequent collaborator of director Spike Lee. In 2012, Washington starred in Flight, 2012, for which he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor. He co-starred with Ryan Reynolds in Safe House, 2012, and prepared for his role by subjecting himself to a torture session that included waterboarding. In 2013, Washington starred in Two Guns, 2013, alongside Mark Wahlberg. In 2014, he starred in The Equalizer, 2014, an action thriller film directed by Antoine Fuqua and written by Richard Wink, based on the television series of same name starring Edward Woodward. During this time period, he also took on the role of producer for some of his films, including The Book of Eli and Safe House. In 2016, he was selected as the recipient for the Cecil B. DeMille Lifetime Achievement Award at the 73rd Golden Globe Awards. He lives in Los Angeles, California, with his wife, Pauletta Washington, and their four children. Family Spouse Pauletta Washington, June 25, 1983, present, four children. Children. Katia Washington. Olivia Washington. Malcolm Washington. John David Washington. Parents. Lennis Washington. Denzel Washington Sr., trademarks, has often portrayed real people. Steve Biko in Cry Freedom, 1987, Malcolm X in Malcolm X, 1992, Reuben Hurricane Carter in The Hurricane, 1999, Herman Boone in Remember the Titans, 2000, Frank Lucas in American Gangster, 2007, and Melvin Tolson in The Great Debaters, 2007. Frequently plays military commanders and law enforcement officers. In almost all the films e.g. Man on Fire, 2004, American Gangster, 2007, John Q., 2002, where he handles or uses sidearms, usually a 9mm Beretta or similar pistols. There's a scene of him swiftly ejecting a bullet from the loaded chamber by pulling back the slide assembly and subsequently catching the bullet before it falls to the ground. Fiery anger-driven tirades. Frequently works with directors Spike Lee, Tony Scott, Edward Zwick, and Antoine Fuqua. Frequently when his character is making a decision or changing his course of action, he will say, okay. Trivia Tom Hanks said working with Washington on Philadelphia, 1993, was like going to film school. Hanks said he learned more about acting by watching Denzel than from anyone else. The actors he most wants to work with are Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. The director he most wants to work with is Martin Scorsese. In 2006, he donated $1 million to save Africa's children. Is the first African-American actor to receive two Academy Awards. Performed all of his own stunts for the hand-to-hand -hand fight sequences in the post-apocalyptic action film The Book of Eli, 2010. He turned down Brad Pitt's role in Say 7N, 1995, telling Entertainment Weekly that the film was too dark and evil. Washington later regretted his decision upon seeing a screening. Claims his personal favorite performances are his works in Cry Freedom, 1987, Glory, 1989, Malcolm X, 1992, and Training Day, 2001. He and his family visited the troops at Brook Army Medical Center, in San Antonio, Texas, BAMC. There are some buildings there, called Fisher Houses. The Fisher House is a hotel where soldiers' families can stay, for little or no charge while their soldier is staying in the hospital. BAMC has quite a few of these houses on base, but as you can imagine, they are almost filled most of the time. He was given a tour of one of the Fisher houses, and subsequent to his visit sent them one of the largest donations they've ever received. Named Jean Hackman, Angelina Jolie, and Dakota Fanning as the most talented actors he has ever worked with. In a Newsweek cover story about the biological basis of the perception of beauty, he was used as a key example in a scientific explanation why he is considered an extremely handsome man. He was at his mother's beauty parlor, when a woman getting her hair done saw him and told someone to get her a piece of paper, and she wrote at the top, prophecy, and then wrote that Denzel would grow up and one day speak to millions. Denzel kept the bit of paper in his wallet. The woman was known as a prophetess in their church and community. 
is a huge fan of the television series Monk, 2002. He requested Ted Levine to play a role in American Gangster, 2007, because he was a fan of the series. He also worked with Tony Shalhoub in The Siege, 1998. Met his wife Pauletta Washington in 1977 when both had small roles in the television movie Wilma, 1977, she was billed as Pauletta Pearson, the story of runner Wilma Rudolph. They wed five years later. Denzel is named after his father, who was in turn named after the doctor, Dr. Denzel, who had delivered him. To prepare for his role as boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter in The Hurricane, 1999, Washington worked out for a year with Los Angeles boxing trainer Terry Claibon. To prepare for his attorney role in Philadelphia, 1993, he met with two lawyers who were about to become celebrities in their own right, Johnny L. Cochran Jr. and Carl Douglas. Became only the sixth actor to win both leading and supporting acting Oscars. The other five are Robert De Niro, Gene Hackman, Kevin Spacey, Jack Lemmon, and Jack Nicholson. Son John David Washington, recently signed as a running back with the St. Louis Rams, was considered for the role of Detective Ricardo Tubbs on Miami Vice, 1984, which went to Philip Michael Thomas. Became a father for the third and fourth time at age 36, when his wife Pauletta Washington gave birth to their twins Malcolm Washington and Olivia Washington on April 10, 1991. Is a practitioner of Gojiryu Karate, Kali, Boxing, Judo. Krav Maga, and Jiu-Jitsu. Among his favorite black actors are Idris Elba and Chiwetel Ejiofor, who happen to be British, and both of whom co-starred with Washington in American Gangster, 2007. According to a 1995 Premier Magazine article, Denzel confronted director Quentin Tarantino when he visited the set of Crimson Tide, 1995. Quentin had done an uncredited rewrite of the script. Denzel lambasted Tarantino about his use of racial slurs in his films. Tarantino got embarrassed and wanted to move the conversation to a more private area. Denzel said, no, if we're going to discuss it, let's discuss it now. Denzel later said he still felt that Quentin was a fine artist. First studied biology in hopes of becoming a doctor, then switched to political science, then to a journalism-slash-drama major in college. As of 2018, he is the most Oscar-winning, two, and most nominated, nine, black actor, slash actress in Academy history. When Washington won the Best Actor Oscar for Training Day, 2001, Halle Berry won the Best Actress Oscar for Monsters Ball, 2001, and Sidney Poitier won the Honorary Award, 2001. 2002 marked the first time in Academy Awards history that three African Americans so dominated the Oscar ceremonies, 2002 broke the pinky finger of his right hand during a childhood basketball accident and never had it set correctly, resulting in the finger healing in a crooked position. The finger is still crooked to this day, bent at the bottom knuckle a full 45 degrees outward from his other fingers. Only the second black actor, after Sidney Poitier, to win the Academy Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role, for Training Day, 2001. Poitier received the Honorary Academy Award that same year. Son, Malcolm, was named in honor of Malcolm X, was the original choice to play the title character in Blade, 1998, which went to Wesley Snipes. Is a spokesperson for the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, having been a member of the Boys Club once himself. According to Forbes, for each dollar he got paid, his movies averaged $10 of gross income. Chosen as People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, 1996 won the 2010 Tony Award for Best Actor in a Play Four Fences. Likes to point out the difference between his father's and his first name, Denzel. Though both are spelled the same, his dad's name is pronounced with the stress on the first syllable, D and Zell, whereas the actor's name is pronounced, Denzel. Has worked twice with Chiwetel Ejiofor. In Inside Man, 2006, they played police detectives, in American Gangster, 2007. They played criminals. Good friends with actress Julia Roberts. He has served as the national spokesperson for Boys and Girls Clubs of America since 1993 and has appeared in public service announcements and awareness campaigns for the organization. In addition, 
He has served as a board member for Boys and Girls Clubs of America since 1995. Due to his philanthropic work with the Boys and Girls Club, PS17X, a New York City elementary school decided to officially name their school after Washington. Has starred in four remakes of films, The Manchurian Candidate, 2004, The Taking of Pelham 123, 2009, Man on Fire, 2004, and The Magnificent Seven, 2016, and one of the television series, The Equalizer, 2014, and its sequel The Equalizer 2, 2018. Almost every summer he and his family go to Italy on vacation. Turned down, say 7N, 1995. He opted to do another detective thriller that year, Devil in a Blue Dress, 1995. He was considered for Wesley Snipes' roles in Jungle Fever, 1991, White Men Can't Jump, 1992, and Blade, 1998 has worked with both Ridley Scott and Tony Scott. Ridley directed him in American Gangster, 2007. He has worked with Ridley's brother, Tony, on five films, which are, Crimson Tide, 1995, Man on Fire, 2004, Deja Vu, 2006, The Taking of Pelham 123, 2009, and Unstoppable, 2010. Was considered for the role of Curtis Taylor Jr. in Dreamgirls, 2006. However, Jamie Foxx was cast instead. Became a father for the first time at age 29 when his wife Pauletta Washington gave birth to their son John David Washington on July 28, 1984. Received his bachelor's degree in journalism from Fordham University in New York City. He has appeared in one film that has been selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally historically or aesthetically significant, Malcolm X, 1992. Chosen by People magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world, 1990, his performance as Malcolm X in Malcolm X, 1992, is ranked number 17 on Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Performances of All Time, 2006. Has two films on the American Film Institute's 100 Most Inspiring Movies of All Time. They are, Glory, 1989, at number 31 and Philadelphia, 1993, at number 20. His daughter, Katia Washington, currently attends Yale University. Directed two actors to an Oscar-nominated performance, Viola Davis and himself. Davis won for her performance in Fences, 2016. Has worked with both Fanning sisters. He worked with Dakota Fanning in Man on Fire, 2004. He worked with, although did not have any scenes with, Elle Fanning in Deja Vu, 2006. For Courage Under Fire, 1996, he trained at the National Training Center at Fort Irwin in California, where he qualified on the M1A1 tank and the 120mm gun, participated in battle games and listened to audiotapes of tank battles in Desert Storm. Dropped out of junior college with a 1.7 GPA. Quotes. In 1998, acting's like someone asking you for years to write the characters, but they write the book. I'm very proud to be black, but black is not all I am. That's my cultural historical background, my genetic makeup, but it's not all of who I am nor is it the basis from which I answer every question. On where he likes to keep his Oscars, next to each other. On approaching 50, I have a friend who says the first 50 was for them, this 50's for me. I like that. The weirdest part of it, or even the saddest part, is that you start to see people die. You go, man. He wasn't even that old. I lost a friend recently who died of a heart attack. He was 58. When I was 20, 58 was old. It ain't now. On working with young female co-stars, that ain't fair, really. Michelle Pfeiffer hasn't been finding a lot of work recently because she doesn't like what a woman her age is offered. That's a real double standard. You get Sean Connery, who gets older and older, still playing opposite young ladies, but it doesn't work the other way around. Salaries The Equalizer 3, 2023, $20 million. The Little Things, 2021, $40 million. The Equalizer, 2014, $20 million. Two Guns, 2013, $20 million. 
American Gangster, 2007, $40 million. Man on Fire, 2004, $20 million. Out of Time, 2003, $20 million. Training Day, 2001, $12 million. The Hurricane, 2000, $10 million. The Siege, 1998, $12 million. Fallen, 1998, $12 million. Courage Under Fire, 1996, $10 million. Virtuosity, 1995, $7,500,000.